Well, it's a bit of a waiting game for Jeff Angler, but uh, the horse is here and he is ready. I saw him out on the track. Tell me about Mugatu. He's doing fantastic. Um, Joe Talmo galloped him today a mile and a half and he came back and said, man, he just feels awesome. So, you know, it's a waiting game. So we're here, we're ready. And uh, if the phone rings, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. How long was the Kentucky Derby on the radar for you all? I'm trying to remember the days now. It's been a long week, but uh, I think about six or seven days ago, they called me and said, you might want to start, you know, preparing yourself. You're getting closer by the day. And then uh, Thursday morning at 6 a.m., they called me and said, you need to be here by Friday at 11 p.m. or something like that. So it's, it's been a week, I guess, or five, six days. Okay, for you and the team, though, in watching the horse, at what point did it enter your mind that this might be a possibility or that maybe this is the horse that could take you there? Well, you know, he's been progressing and, and every race he gets better. And, you know, we, we tried him in the bluegrass and, you know, that was the race that said he belongs, you know, so it was like, you know what, let's, let's see what happens. You know, he ran a really good race in the bluegrass and, um, you know, Joe was still sitting on the horse and he said, he just needs more ground. You know, we, we were still coming. So, you know, it's a mile and a quarter and hopefully we get in. For someone who's been around this for a long time and knows what it takes and I, what's the experience for you? What, what is it? I'm just trying to take it all in stride. You know, this is, this is obviously the, the pinnacle, you know, it's, uh, it's what, it's what we all get up at 4 AM seven days a week for and try to get to. And, you know, honestly, most people don't ever have that chance. And, uh, so just to have the chance to get in, um, it's, it's unreal. I, you know, my wife and I, Jody, we, we talk about it every night. We're trying not to talk about it too much, but, um, we're, you know, we're just taking it in stride, you know, and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Well, it appears that Mugatu's taking it all in stride as well. He seems like a pretty cool dude, not overwhelmed with any of it, but I, I know it would be a lot of fun to see a horse like him and you all get the chance to run. It would be great. You know, it's, it's kind of like, a. You know, we're a smaller barn, you know, we're usually between 10 and 20 horses and, and, you know, the smaller barns don't get the big horses and, you know, to have a horse that, you know, we bought for $14,000 to have a chance to run in the Derby, I think it gives, you know, it gives, it gives a lot of smaller barns, you know, the, you know, the, the, the grill to go on, you know, to keep going, to keep fighting because you never know when that horse is going to walk in your shed row. We certainly wish you the best of luck. Thanks so much.